Good morning. It's day 11, and I'm feeling like it. Um, I'm here at Camp Wilcox, or Camping Wilcox, I guess, en français. And uh, today's plans are pretty limited. Um, they're limited mostly by food. Here's my breakfast. It's only one piece of oatmeal today, or one package of oatmeal, plus some granola. And here's what I have left for food. Um, I've got five cliff Bars and this much granola, and that's it. Um, oh, and a stick of coffee. <laughs> and I've got about, uh, well, exactly, 116 kilometers back to Port Meunier. So, that's interesting. Now, mind you, I did leave a cache of food at um, Riviere de Huil. That's going to be about 55 kilometers in. So with the food I have, it's you know, theoretically possible to make the 55 kilometers, although it's a stretch. But between me and there is the Auberge McDonald, and they will provide me with food. And that was always part of the plan, right? So uh, I knew I'd be low on food, and uh, I knew I'd get food at Aubert's McDonald, and I knew that um, I wouldn't have to carry that food, so that was good. Um, but really, I'd rather just go back to Port Meunier. So I'm going to see if I can't get a ride back to Port Meunier. If I can't, I can still make it. Uh, I'll have to camp a couple times on the way, but I can still make it. Um, but I'm pretty sure I can. And, you know, I'm just about played out anyways for cycling. Uh, it's been a grind. Um, but I've got another 11 kilometers or so to cycle to um, Aubert's McDonald today. So it's not done yet. So, and I'm not done yet. You know, it's interesting, I say as a black fly crosses on my screen here, um, bikepacking, just like last time, I've met more people bikepacking than I would, and more different people bikepacking um, than I would on an ordinary day. And it's interesting because, uh, you know, you wouldn't think, I mean, this is an island with a population of 250, maybe double that with tourists, and yet I seem to be meeting a substantial portion of them. Uh, there's the couple whose car broke down near Riviere Hood, um, and a bunch of people gathered, including a tour bus, and for a little while there, we had the second largest community on Anticosti Island. Then there was Robert, the uh, road cyclist who was driving by, or Robert, I should say, is his name. Uh, he corrected me on that. Um, who said to me, you're my hero, and which is... Uh, pretty amazing. Um, then uh, when I got a ride back, I got part of my ride from one of two people serving as the park warden for um, Anticosti Island National Park. Uh, they'll swap out when hunting season starts and you'll get uh, more like game wardens at that point in time. Um, and then the, um, the three people from near Sherbrooke, Quebec, who drove me about 40 kilometers yesterday, uh, sharing their experiences on the island, where they've been, where they're staying, etc. Fascinating. All totally different people um, and, and really interesting to me. There's one last look at my campsite at uh, Camping Wilcox and here's the rocket, fully loaded, ready to go again. You know, it's funny talking about meeting people on the trip. I made it to Aubert's McDonald, and as I was sitting there waiting for my batteries to charge, this group of four motorcyclists rolls in. It looked like there was nobody able to give me a ride back for Meunier, so I charged my batteries and got ready to go. But at the last minute, this person arrived saying he could give me a ride back to Genevieve territory. Bonus. Put the bike on the truck and got ready to go. I think so. Yeah. Okay. Where do you want me? Yes. <laughs> this is the 
just because I've been recording video throughout, and so I want my video to be honest. <laughs> and so this is me getting a ride back to for me for which I very much missed this part when I went to Bay de la Tour. Yeah, we have to stop. Okay. We got here to. to write on right away for me but it doesn't take long for cars and trucks to pack it down nicely so that'd be great so today my ride was pretty short i started at camping wilcox proceeded along the coast and stopped at Auberge McDonald where I hung out for quite a while and then eventually I got a ride all the way back along the highway to Port Menier. Well, I'm back in Port Menier or Port Menier, which feels like the big city to me. Okay, all set up and ready for a couple of days of cold and rain. <laughs> I'll um, be hunkering down here, so the video might not be great, but hey, you never know. Now for some food. That's Port Menier down there, and this is where I'm eating one seriously isolated restaurant. But it's one of two in town, and the other one requires reservations. Yeah, I ate the pizza, all of it. It was delicious, best on the island. <laughs> so this place that's in the middle of nowhere, it gets quite a bit of business. Of course, you don't need reservations. Don't have to be clean, I prove that. And uh, a lot of people work here. Nice deer. Well, this, I guess, is the end of the bike packing part of the uh, videos. Um, so if that's what you're here for, this is the last one. Uh, I still got three days here and I'm going to enjoy them and I'm gonna cover them on my video because I can. Uh, the rocket held out all right. Um, front wheel is wobbly and the fork still is loose and I've tried to tighten it but uh, all my pedals lost their reflectors I actually saw one fly off back wheel still isn't round and it's not true anymore either and, uh, it gives me this kind of bucking bronking sort of thing the ort lead bags have held up pretty well I thought there's a little ding in one of them somewhere but uh you know nothing really serious headlamp was great little uh, cup holder was great big agnes tent there in the background is held up despite all the repairs to the uh, fly we'll see if it keeps up but it, it hasn't given me any problems so far except for the stupid zipper getting stuck all the time on the front but what can you do about that and me well, I kind of held up too, I guess. I mean, I'm surviving. I'm still here. Uh, the reason, the main reason I took the ride is because we're going to have two days of rain. And I felt like I was looking hypothermia straight in the face and saying, no, <laughs> I won't do that. Um, overall, um, well, you might want to have a look at my feet because they really would have carried me through this. And... Uh, Maybe that's a good way to leave you all with my feet, humble though maybe though they may be, uh, they've been good enough for me, just like my bike. So I'll have more to say about the whole concept of bike packing at a cost key in my future videos, because it's going to be rain, so we're going to get rain delay videos. Um, but uh, that's it for now. That's it for today, and 
thanks for being there with me for the ride if you're not going to follow on the next few videos bye for now Oh yeah, and would it have hurt the Blue Jays to win a few games while I was gone? Two and eight in the last ten? Oh, no.